Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, well, first of all, um, Dr. Moore, I have in front of me um, uh, a photograph of Greenpeace. Um, it says here, and, and the topic is founders of Greenpeace. Are you listed on here? Yes, sir, I am. So it's kind of interesting that we tried to change history by what we saw entered into the record. So I would like to enter into the record, this for uh, the record, to show that it is a, a Photoshop, a photo uh, of Greenpeace that actually shows uh, that. Was that Photoshop of Freudian slip? No, it's not. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a screenshot of uh, Greenpeace that actually, shows that the good doctor is one of the. Uh, Greenpeace Green, actually, Green actually took his name elaborate, off their list of founders. Yeah. They had previously published his name consistently as one of the founders. We will enter that into the record along with his job application one year after the founding of Greenpeace, which will I provide well, Mr. Well, Chairman. Well, I wasn't aware that you were present at that uh, circumstance. Uh, it, that's an incorrect characterization. Mr. Gosar, the time is yours. Well, um, coming back to you, Dr. Moore, I, I certainly appreciate people starting to talk about, you know, the, the uh, anatomy of our planetary system. And, and now we're becoming from NASA, we're understanding now that there's a cycle with the sun. Is that true? Well, yes. I, I, I've always said that uh, it's galling to me all these people that pretend to be able to predict the future when I have to admit that I can't because it seems like they're smarter than I am. And, well, and, and, and a geological and, time so I've, that. Yeah, yes, I've been uh, watching this prediction of the grand solar minimum for some time now, and now it is coming to pass. And so I'm willing to uh, say that, yes, it appears as though the grand solar minimum is occurring and will continue to occur for some time and will result in a cooling of the climate, which we see just in the last couple of years beginning to set in. Indeed, in the Arctic, the ice is more prevalent now than it has been for many years, at least 14. And so the trend is going in the opposite direction to the prediction of ever-increasing warmth and loss of ice. So we do see uh, it, it's long been stated that the sun is the main controller of the Earth's climate. I, I appreciate that, but but also, you know, the composition of our Earth. You know, we, we have a magma core, we have plate tectonics, so there's a whole dumb, a number <coughs> of things. I have another question for you, Dr. Moore. Um, uh, if a success rate of 3%, is that a good number? For the predictions of the climate no, no, models? No, 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 no. A success rate of 3%, is that a good number if you're talking about... Uh, no, sir. Uh, how about you, Dr. Morano, Mr. Morano? Is 3% a good number? So, for example, if I was a doctor and I admitted 100 patients and only three of them survived, I know it's great for all of the three that survived, but is that a great number for what we call success story? No, it's not. Uh, the interesting thing about the biodiversity issue here, and, and um, one thing we're talking about is the... Life thrives in warmth. So around the equator, life, plant and animal species thrive. As you get further and further away from the equator, you get less and less animal species. And that's one of the things, you know, people fear warmth when it comes to life. It hasn't panned out and is not panning out. Now, all kinds of threats could be there in the future, but turning over to central planning of the United Nations is not one of the solutions. Well, I mean, I, I heard in regards to endangered species that it's just about money, but it's not. It's absolutely not. I mean, we've got court rulings that actually saw, saw such an abysmal uh, uh, a lifting of the southwest uh, gray wolf that they actually remanded it back to the states. That's how bad it was. It's not just about money. It's about protocols and science. You put out a hypothesis, you, you actually do a body of it, and you come with a conclusion, and then you have it verified independently. Is that true? Yes. In fact, in my written testimony, I submitted a report by Rob Gordon, who studied endangered species for years and goes in detail of the flaws of the Endangered Species Act as it's currently being practiced. Much of it, in, in, particularly out west, has been shoot, shovel, and shut up. It, it's got perverse incentives that actually end up harming animals because there's no incentive to ever report that you found one. Because so real, real quick question. Proper, private property rights. The last die-off, Dr. Moore, um, was man president for the last die-off? Uh, no, that was 65 million Sorry. years ago. I, that's what I thought. So, uh, yield back. Thank you. Uh, well, that brings us to the...